Well, if you like to experiment in the kitchen, you might have fun trying out a sous vide cooker. Yeah, maybe you even got one for Christmas, but do you know how to use it? <laughs> Angie Harkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here to share some sous vide recipes. Hi, Angie. Sous vide recipes. We sound so sophisticated. <laughs> so, what, today. what is this contraption? <laughs> this is the sous vide wand. It's very easy to use because I took it out of the box, I turned it on. Gather to work. What's the idea? So the idea is it heats the water bath to the specific temperature that you set the wand to and it will not go hotter. Okay. So uh, if you like a really nice pink, medium rare, thick ribeye steak and you can't keep it medium rare when you cook, do it in a sous vide water bath. It's going to taste the same? It will. It, well, it why, will because but then you do need to finish it. Yeah. So um, it keeps your meat really juicy. So you, like these, I vacuum packed um, some of my steaks here. So this is a marinated flank steak to make fajitas. Um, but you don't need the vacuum packer. But pack. you don't need the vacuum packer. And this isn't very tight either because I got a marinade in there. But like the vacuum packer will get your veggies tighter because they don't have a marinade in there. But you could just put your meat or anything in a, a Ziploc bag or little baggie, and then um, you know close it almost all the way, drop it in the hot water bath, and the water will push the air out, and then you can get it almost, to, and then zip it up, and then you're and good. you'll get yeah. So you can Not, um, but make sure it doesn't go in the water. You don't let the water get in your bag. Yeah. But so all of these are cryovac for my recipe or vacuum packed for my recipes today. But so I set the sous vide wand at 141 degrees. That's what it says for beef because 145 is medium rare. So you're not taking it all the way to medium rare. Because then you want to pull like like if you do a big ribeye or these, this is a top round steak. I just chunked up and I have it with some teriyaki sauce. So it's going to cook uh, 90 minutes in the water bath, pull it out, and then I put it in a real hot skillet and just finished it. Okay. And then... Um, but there's a time use, limit for Then use things. the office clips. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. That's right. a good idea. Yeah. So... All of our recipes have a certain time, temperature. So like for the fajitas, for the flank steak, um, and the peppers and onions, you do 90 minutes, 141 degrees, same as the top round, and then they're done. And then quick, you know, I put, I put them in the fridge and then before I came, I just quick pan fried them. Or, you know, um, stir fried them. them. Yeah. yeah, saute them. So I made it all ahead and it was at the 141 degrees, put it in the fridge, pulled it out, shh, quick did it, and like the veggies, if you wanna take one, they're like crisp tender, and they're still really good, and then the flank steak is really tender. It's, oh yeah. it's crunchy. Yeah, um, but the flank is really good, and then the marinade kinda gets pulled into the meat too with this, with the with the vacuum So packing. you can do other veggies too? So yeah, the green beans are in a little sriracha, a little garlic powder, onion powder, and they're served with the top round. But green beans you do at 185 degrees. So I did everything and then I put these in like half an hour or 45 minutes. Um, but yeah, it's kind of fun. So. It's typically known, you know, you'll see it, and then they have the big ribeye and drafts in the in the um, in the bag with a little rosemary and butter. But we have some fun recipes too. But it is really good just for steaks. So maybe if if you feel like, hey, I want to take my steak game up a level, or you don't feel confident, um, just cooking it to a nice mirror, you could try. Just yeah. a little and what does it cost? They're about 100 bucks, okay. this one was. But just you can spend a lot more than I did. <laughs> kind of frugal. Just, so some, just something this a is, different. This is the Angie beginner model, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you should start. But yeah, and then you set the temperature, and then you can set the time on here, um, and then it's got a, it'll kind of beep after your 90 minutes is up. Um, but it's kind of fun to yeah, do. It's fun to try. Some of our recipes stay to sous vide a lot longer. Because I know we have a short rib recipe that's ours. Oh, wow. So more of a process, kind of okay. like the slow cooker right. smoking. But you know, try right. it out. Check out beeftips.com, some different kind of fun recipes. Try something new. Something different. Um, yeah, something different. Borrow and if you, friends and try it out. Exactly. <laughs> borrow it before you buy it. All right, Angie. Thank you. Thank of you, course. Angie. Happy Good to new see year. you. Yeah.